Hi, I thought I'd show you how to get started with the Bangalore JS smartwatch. So this is the box. Inside the box you have the watch and some straps that don't come installed. So the first step is really to install the straps. So you get the watch out. The bottom is where the charge port is here and the strap with the clip on it actually goes at the top. So you just get your fingernail behind the little little knob that's in there and you make sure that that end of the um, strap goes into the hole here. It's pulled back and it should clip in nicely there. Same for this side. Now your bangle um, may not be charged when it arrives. Um, to charge it, all you need to do is have plug the lead into USB um, and then this connector with the bangle the right way up and the charge port at the bottom it goes in from the right hand side and it just clips on like that. Um, when you finish charging um, it's an idea to unplug this from USB just in case it um, happens to pull itself onto anything that's magnetic that's on your desk or something like that. So um, next step getting started you just press the button on the left hand on the right hand side here um, and it will start the watch up and you should see this little animation um, showing you how to use the um, the bangle so it will step through here and it will show you that there's a button here that you can use this button um, it will start the launcher from the clock and it will also tend to go back out of out of lots of menus um, if you need to completely reset the watch um, it's very unlikely but if you long press this for about 10 seconds it will completely reboot everything. Um, you can use the touch screen to drag through the menu items here and then when you're finished you press the button to exit. So um, you'll start off with the clock it will probably not be set to the correct time for you because we, we don't set these at the factory. Um, so you've got a few options for how you actually set it. We'd suggest you use the app, which I'll come to later. Um, but for now, I'll just show you quickly how to navigate around the watch. So normally, um, if it hasn't been used for a while, there'll be a, a lock icon up here. And this shows that the touch screen is, um, is locked and it's not going to accept any input. Um, it's done to stop you accidentally... Um, accidentally kind of inputting stuff on the watch but it's also a power saving feature because if the touch screen was on all the time it would run the battery down reasonably quickly so you just press the button to unlock it you can configure other ways to unlock it in settings as well um, and now you press the button again to go to the launcher so now you can just drag your finger up and down to scroll through the items and if you want to select one you just tap it um, in a lot of the apps, when you have a settings screen, it will use this style of menu. Now, there are too many menu items here for you to be able to reliably press them with your finger. So instead, you just drag up and drag down to cycle through what's what's highlighted with the line there. Um, and then you tap again to change it, like that. So there are a few different types of menu. Um, you can go down, for instance, if I go to set time, this one will just enter a new menu. And obviously you can just go to back and press to go back. If I want to set the time here, I can go to hour, I can press, and then the highlight will move to the, the number there, and then you can drag up and drag down to change the number. And you press again to, to go back. If you ever want to um, want to set up your bangle so that it'll turn off and the next time it starts, the welcome screen starts, um, in settings, you can go down to, um, so you can see here it's locked, so nothing's happening, so you need to press the button to unlock. You can go down to app widget settings, welcome screen, and then turn off and run next. And now it will turn itself off, and next time you start it, it will, um, it will boot up into the welcome screen. So, let's go back to the clock. Um, now we're going to pair it with the phone app. So all you need to do to make this work, this is actually not an app, it's just a website. You need to visit the website in a web browser that supports web Bluetooth. 
So that means either Chrome or Edge or or Opera. If you've got Firefox, you will you won't be able to use it for this. Um, you'll just have to install Chrome instead. Um, if you're on an iPhone, um, you have to install an app called WebBLE because unfortunately the um, the Safari web browser can't be extended to to include web Bluetooth. Um, so to load apps, you go to bangladesh.com forward slash apps. You press the button for the the type of bangle you have, and you can see here there are a bunch of different applications that that um, that you can install. If you go to connect in the top right, you'll see if you've got one bangle, you'll just see that one bangle there, and it's obvious. If you've got more than one, um, like I have. You can look at the signal strength to see which one's bigger here. Um, you can also check the number that's up here. Um, this one says 58FA, which matches to, to that one there. So when you're connected, you'll see under Apps, My Apps, it shows you all the apps that are installed. Um, and suppose you don't like that Bluetooth ID widget. You know, if you only have one bangle, you really don't care what that is. So you just go to that and you say Delete. Do you want to remove it? Yes. Um, and suppose we want to add something else, we can just go to the library. Um, there's uh, There are a few things here. There's, uh, for instance, a languages app here, which will um, provide some translation for things like dates and um, and a few common, common words and things that are used in apps to whatever language you want. So suppose I go down here and I go to German. I click upload. Um, it will now upload the app, and the watch just says hold button to reload. And if I press that, it'll now reload, and you can see that the um, that it now says Donnerstag instead of Thursday. So um, you'll also find, especially when you get your your bangle, that um, that some of the apps will need updating, and all you have to do is press the update button there. Um, that will go through the apps and it will, will change all of them. Uh, to set the time, if the time was found to be really far off when the app loader connected, it will set it automatically for you. But if you ever wanted to force it to set the time, um, you, can, you can go to the About screen. I'll just wait until this is finished. Okay, everything's updated. And down here you can see set Bangladesh time and now that's at the time you can also install default apps which will remove everything from the bangle and will um, install just the latest versions of the standard apps that it sort of comes from the factory with um, so that's a good way to restore anything to default if um, if you've something's happened and you're, you're not sure what's gone wrong so just long press and it loads the, the clock with with everything new um, yeah, and that's basically how to get started with it. Um, I'll do a few videos specifically about how to, um, for instance, get notifications with devices and also how to update the firmware on this. So this, um, the app loader at the moment, this is updating the applications that are on the watch, but the watch has its own firmware and um, sometimes that can do with an update as well. Okay, thanks for watching.